The MGHL opens tonight with five games. On the phone with us is the head coach and general manager, Troy Leslie of the Verdon Oil Capitals, who play host to the Dauphin Kings tonight. First off, Troy, how was training camp? It was good. It was a real competitive camp. Uh, you know, our, our studying ta- staff has done a great job of assembling uh, our, our list, and uh, we had tough choices to make all through. 14 returning uh, vets, that's including a few trades. Uh, any standout rookies that uh, the fans should be looking for? Well, you know what? Uh, we've got a, a lot of rookie uh, players on our back end. So, uh, you, know, the, you know, Justin Lee is, is, is uh, a young defenseman who's had a very good start for us. Uh, Jaden Wojciechowski has been very good. Uh, you know, up front, uh, you know, guys like Josh Belcher, um, Hunter Kluche, you know, Jack Enerson, uh, they've been all very good as well. And, and uh, you know, a, a nice surprise for us uh, so far has been Tanner Andrew, who, who's a local product to, who, who has showed very well as well. The Dauphin Kings, uh, if I remember correctly, finished 10th last year. The stats from the old site aren't up there, but what can we expect from them uh, coming into the season? I know you played them in an exhibition and Sure, it was a 5 uh, nothing win in the last game, but that's exhibition. What can we expect from the Kings here going into the season? Well, obviously, you know, they're, they're, they're a younger group, but, uh, you know, they've got some real skilled guys up front, and, and uh, you know, there, there's going to be a different response from them tonight for sure. Um, and, you know, our guys have to be ready for that. Um, they're going to be hungry, and, and uh, you know, they've also seen us a couple of times, so they, they know what we're bringing, so... Uh, it's just a matter of us making sure that we're playing our game and, and, and come ready and focused. <clears throat> 25 guys still in camp, uh, but you, you made a trade yesterday for with the Dauphin Kings for Darren Jesti. Uh, what's he bring to the team? Well, you know what? We, uh, you know, we felt we had another need for a guy back there who makes a real good first pass, uh, sees the ice well, and and, uh, you know, his, his big attribute is his shot from the point. He's got a real hard shot, and, and uh, it just gives us another weapon offensively. Uh, puck drops at 7.30 tonight, but uh, in your opinion, what can the fans expect from the team this season? Well, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, we're, we're an experienced group up front who, uh, who are dynamic and... and uh, you know, we've, we've got good team speed. Um, our guys on our back end, uh, you know, have good feet and, and can also play with speed. So, uh, you know, we're going to be, uh, you know, trying to push the pace as much as possible and, and get in on the floor check. And, and uh, you know, our, our big goal this year is, is to score more goals five on five. I thought last year, you know, that was a problem for us. And, and uh, you know, we, we had to lean a lot on our power play to, to produce some offense. So, you know, uh, you know, we need to score more five on five, and, and that's a big goal for us going into the season. When you're relying on your special teams, it uh, sometimes doesn't come out in the right end, does it? Well, no, you know what? Special teams are a, an imperative part of being a successful team. So, you know, if you're scoring five on five and uh, and your special teams are good, uh, you know, you should be a winning team. Well, Troy, uh, we'll be calling the game tonight on the Manitoba Sports Network, and we look forward to calling all the games for you this this season. And we wish you the best of luck tonight, and we wish you the best of luck in the in the season. Thank you very much.